Hello everyone, this is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by this video. Today I'm going to bring you some very special toys. We're going to be playing with, trying out, reviewing some of the um, Easter toys that I found at Walmart. So if you notice, these are all peeps themed. So if you guys know anything about peeps, they're a yummy little marshmallow treat that is covered in sugar. Usually they're shaped like these little chicks or these little bunnies. And they're just a really good treat. I like them. Not everybody does. So um, be sure to let me know down below. <laughs> Do you like beeps or no? Also, be sure to check out the video that I've done previously where I actually taste tested four different flavors of peeps. So if you don't like just regular marshmallows with sugary crystals on top of them, try some of the like special flavored ones. Like I tried some that tasted like cinnamon, like hot tamales and my favorite were the sour watermelon so go check that video out for sure so today since um i like peeps and hopefully you do too we're gonna look at some easter toys that i found at walmart that are peeps related so these are kind of like things that you would put in an easter basket if you're going to give somebody something for easter or if you're going to get a special treat for a friend or something for easter um, usually that's when peeps are around. So, but what I found today, I found some slime. So this is, um, ooh, some peeps slime. I found some peeps putty. So we'll see how the bouncing putty and the slime are different. Then I found this with like bunny dough. So this is like Play-Doh and this is actually really cool because it comes in a case and it looks like it's got some little special things we can use. And then finally, I got a grow a peep. <laughs> I thought this would be funny. This is not going to be food, but um, you're going to place this in some water and we'll get some kind of peep. Okay, so let's start with the slime. So I tried to pick out a variety of things. I got two things that were chicks, two things that were hopefully bunnies. I'm hoping this ends up being a pink bunny. The pink bunnies are my favorite. But I found the slime in a purple chick so all of these colors are what you can get in the marshmallows that you can actually eat <laughs> so here's the back of what all you could get of these um it says they are marshmallow scented which is super cool so let's open this up and see what the slime feels like and if it actually smells like marshmallows oh okay so this little chick thing that's holding the egg is rubbery stretchy <laughs> that's kind of cool so we could put the egg back in here for safekeeping or you could probably play with the slime inside of this i just know that you have to be careful if you have cats especially when you have anything like slime i'm trying to see there's like some kind of plastic on this but you have to be very careful if you have pets <laughs> if you're wanting to use slime or putty and things like of that nature <clears throat> Because this stuff can get in their hair, and that's not good for them. Or they could possibly eat it. That's not good for them either. Okay, I'm going to have to probably use some scissors on this. So, give me one second. Okay, so that was a lot harder to get started than I thought it was. So, if you are opening this, there's not really a tear strip. So, you may have to ask an adult, or if you are an adult, you may have to have someone help you with um, like getting it open with some scissors. Okay, so it's just like an egg. And, whoa, look, it's the form of the egg. I want to see it drop out of my hands. Whoa, that's some good slime if it's not even coming out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a lot more sticky. Oh, it's like a sticky slime. Oh, it's fun, though. I think it's just because it's a little bit cold. Um... Ugh. Blah, 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 blah. If you uh, play with it for a little while, I bet you it would warm up a little bit. Yep, $2.98 for this slime. But it's still fun. Ooh. Bloop. I'm not very good at slime. <laughs> I try to do like people do on TV, but <laughs> they're on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's still just a fun, stretchy, little playful slime that you could play with for a little bit and then just maybe get rid of or give to someone later i'm gonna put it inside this little chick well that makes a lot of noise 
very fun so you can put it back in the egg if you want to so that is the slime i think it's a pretty fun little extra toy oh that's fun that's a lot of fun Rue's like really confused he's on my knee right now and he's trying to figure out what i'm doing <laughs> are you gonna jump up here do you smell it you smell the slime i didn't even smell it uh i wouldn't say marshmallow <laughs> I mean, it's got a slight scent, but marshmallow is like more like sugar to me. This is not like sugar. It just smells like slime. <laughs> so I, I don't 100% agree with the smells like marshmallow, but that is a fun little toy for just like $3. <laughs> Let's compare now the bouncing putty. So this is soft, squishy putty inside. Bounce it, roll it, shape it. Bouncy roll it, shape it. There were, I think there was just like a pink bunny one and a yellow chicky one. I think those are the only designs they had of this. This one, again, I think was $2.98. I think all these were like $2.98. It's like the basic price for little toys like these at Walmart. All right. I like this one too because it comes in a little case. These are really cute that they come in little things. So there's like what the peat marshmallow would look like. And inside, oh, it's wrapped up. I was like, that looks like it, like gum that's been chewed. Um, whoa. Okay. It's in an actual bag. That's a little weird. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this open and try to get this out. Okay. So I'm already not a fan of this putty. As you can see, it's actually in like... A sealed bag there's no way to really reseal it I think they just did that so it wouldn't leak out of the packaging or like mess up oh there he is I know you'd be up here soon do you smell it I can actually smell this one this one actually does smell like marshmallows but I don't know I'm not a fan of this packaging I feel like it's a little ridiculous but um yeah here's some yellow putty so this is definitely different than slime it's not as sticky as the slime it's actually more like moldable just feels like putty that's fun to woo, string it out but yeah this one definitely smells a lot more like marshmallow yeah like a lot more like a marshmallow this is like if a marshmallow stays out too long and it gets all gooey and stretchy I don't know. I mean, I'm more of a fan of putty just because that's what I grew up on as a kid was buying putty in like uh, little eggs for like a dollar at Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So I, oh, there's already a cat hair. See? But I don't know. I, I'm a fan of the putty, but I just do not like this packaging. I got like putty pieces all over my scissors. I don't know. I kind of like this one a little better. It says you can bounce it. Let's see. Oh, oh no! It landed in the bowl of water I have ready. <laughs> well, water doesn't seem to affect it. It landed in the bowl of water I have ready for this little thing. Oh well. But yeah, it does bounce. It's very stretchy. Again, for $2.98. Fun little Easter toy you can play with for a little bit. It kind of reminds me of Banana Laffy Taffy. Oh, it's slippery now. <laughs> But I like that you can put it back in here. So, I mean, once I opened it out of the packaging, not that bad. So, yeah, there is the Peeps Putty. I like that. Okay, let's move this packaging. And let's go for the big peep. Now, I'm saving the, like, growing one for later. That's more of a surprise. Okay, so this is supposed to be, like, Play-Doh. More like a dough. So, kind of like... I don't know, in between a slime and a, a putty. But this has got a tear strip. Okay, there it goes. I like this little container too because even if I don't play with the Play-Doh and like I give it to my nephew or to someone else. Oh, he's got a little necklace. Ugh. Even if I give it to somebody else to play with, I'm probably going to keep this because I love peeps. I've already said that. Um, but I have like little stuffed peeps and little, <laughs> little peeps that hang out on my counters for Easter. So I'm going to definitely keep this case. All right. Oh, no. More packaging. <laughs> but here's what's inside. Woo. 
So there's that. I'm definitely going to keep that little guy. That is cool. But inside we get, okay, these may be easier to cut out though. The putty was a little bit sticky. So we've got some orange Play-Doh. Orange Play-Doh. Oh boy, this is like cheap Play-Doh. This is like that, I don't know what it's called. Like, is it Rose Arts or like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of like the cheap Play-Doh. But I mean, for $3, what do you expect? But there's the orange. It does smell like marshmallows. We have yellow. Yep. <laughs> it's wanting to crumble. But there is yellow. It smells like marshmallows too. Yellow Play-Doh. And we have green. All right. So we have all those colors. Ooh, the green's a little bit more fun. <laughs> they all do smell like marshmallows. I mean, they're not like... If you opened a pack of peeps, you know how sweet that smells, but they do smell kind of like marshmallows to me. All right. And then also in this, we've got some really cute cutters. So we have one that's shaped like a bunny or like a peep. This one I think is supposed to be an egg. And then this one is the chick, a little chick peep. So let's make us, I want to do an orange bunny. So we'll flatten it out. Stamp them down inside. <gasps> cute! I made an orange little bunny. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's do a yellow chick. Flatten it out. Push them down. Ta-da! A chick. Oh, no! He's going to be covered in cat hair. Oh no, that's gross. Again, be careful with these kind of toys if you have pets because you will get cat hair in your stuff or dog hair or whatever kind of hair animal you have in your stuff, but also it could get in their hair <laughs> and that could be a problem. And then a little egg. Cute. And then you can also use them to make other things, of course. Like I'm going to make like a, a rough looking little carrot with like some green leafies. Ta-da! A carrot! <laughs> That's fun. I like this one the most. Like the slime is fun. The putty's fun. But I think I could get a lot more use out of this and I think other like kids or people that play with this would get a lot more use out of this. You can also put them inside the little carrying case so that is super cool and you can use these cutters with other actual play-doh so i think this is the best value toy so far that we have opened the play-doh bunny so i'm gonna scoot that to the side Ugh, i just hit the camera sorry earthquake okay the last thing we're gonna do is the grow a peep it's either going to be a bunny or a chick. Now, the pink bunny peeps are my absolute favorite peeps. I don't know why, because they all taste the same, unless you get the special flavored ones. Um, but they all taste the same. But I think the little pink bunny ones are just so stinking cute. So with this thing, you're supposed to put it in um, water. So here are the instructions. Now it's really blurry. It's because I have it set a little different but um those are the instructions you can kind of see the images here so we're going to fill a bowl with water with the egg and then it's supposed to pop out of the egg and it's supposed to grow and it's supposed to be three times its size and note it does say this is not a food product do not eat so most peeps are candy this is not candy so let's get this started all right so i changed the angle a little bit hopefully it doesn't like throw y'all off and i know it's gonna be probably a little shaky but Let's do a grow a peep. Okay, there is the egg. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, it feels, yeah, it doesn't feel like a regular egg. It does feel like it's going to, ooh, there's holes in it. You can probably see what it is. It actually feels heavy, like rubber. That's interesting because if you guys have ever played with those capsule ones, they're usually like sponges. So we're going to see. Okay. Oh no. I may not be able to show you guys this one today. Okay. So for the instructions, it says place egg in water. Make sure the egg is completely submerged 
after 24 to 48 hours. The egg will crack open to reveal a chick or bunny inside. Repla replace the water with fresh water because it's going to absorb the water. Um, making sure the egg and the figure are completely submerged. The chick or bunny will continue to expand for 48 to 72 hours. After 72 hours, you may move your chick or bunny to a larger container and watch it grow daily. Oh my goodness, so it keeps growing. When will it stop? <laughs> so we may not be able to watch this today. Oh, that's a problem. Maybe because there's air bubbles, I can... Yeah, okay. So it was um, floating. <laughs> Let me zoom in a little bit. It was floating, but I think I can get like some water inside. See like that? And it'll hopefully make it sink. Yeah. Okay. Well, have this toy. Just know that it's going to take a while for it to actually do what it's supposed to do. So if you want to do this as an Easter thing, I would probably start it early. <laughs> Of course, you could read the instructions like I did, but I just wanted to show you guys what it is. Let me see if I can... Okay, the egg feels... Yeah, it's really hard. I don't think I could even crack it. Let's try. <laughs> click, click, click. Nope. He ain't budging. I'll just edit this to where it will show you the next few days. So I'll insert that now. All right, here's our egg. It's been over 24 hours, not quite 48 hours. Um, it's been fully submerged. It's very, very soft, so I could just peel off most of this right here. Oh, there he goes. I do have a pink bunny. And it does look like it's going to keep growing quite a bit. Um, it says to leave it in the water for about, like, up to 72 hours <laughs> for it to fully grow. So I will keep checking in over the next few days, but that is our bunny so far. It has hatched and I'll keep checking in. Hey, Rue, we see, <laughs> we got a bunny. All right, here is the pink bunny peep. It has definitely been over 72 hours. I think this is as big as it might get. It does feel kind of weird, and I'm curious to find out. All the kitties are curious, too. They're, I'm curious to find out if I set this out of the water, if it would shrink back. Normally, they don't do that. Um, but this feels really weird, like almost like a hard plastic. But yeah, there is our pink money after it is completely hatched. We think, Rue. No, don't touch him. Out of all these toys, they were all like $2.98 a piece from Walmart for Easter. My favorite is the uh, little bunny with the Play-Doh. Because you could use this in lots of other different ways with other Play-Doh. Um, and then I did like the putty and the slime. It's just not my favorite. It's not the type of slime that I like to play with. But for $3, it's a fun little Easter toy. So let me know which one you think is your favorite. Have you gotten any other Peeps related toys? Remember to tell me if Peeps are a yay or a nay for you as well. And be sure to check out um, my channel where I actually ate different flavor of Peeps. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more toys, more random things from me. And check out my channel for some other cool videos. Thanks and y'all have a happy Easter. Bye!